Good day ladies and gents, the installation of the new patch has begun, uh, the game is down and I will take you through the patch notes. So first of all, BSG fixed the incorrect ammo penetration and damage calculations in some situations. I think this is most likely related to the armor pen and some of the armors were bugged. There is plenty of different tests on YouTube, if you just search Tarkov armor you will find a couple of recent videos that take a really uh, good explanation. And basically, some of the hit zones were bugged, some of the armors were bugged. For example, if you were wearing Zhuk level 3 armor, the bullets would just go through the plates and completely ignore them. However, they would hit the armor and they would reduce the armor durability, but they would completely ignore the plates. So I guess uh, this fix is something to do with this, and hopefully armors do save you more often after this patch. BSG also fixed the ability to inspect and modify unexamined armor laying on the ground. So before you were unable to change the plates or uh, inspect the armor if it's on the ground, um, you had to loot it, inspect it, and only then you could do things. So basically they are making adjustments to the quality of life, they're improving um, QOL, quality of life, yeah, and making the game better. Another thing that can improve your quality of life in Tarkov is definitely connecting to better uh, servers. For example, um, there's plenty of different servers you can choose from, and some of them have high ping, some of them have low ping, and some of them have high packet loss. What I do, I use an app called uh, Gira Booster. It's very simple to use. You launch the app, you click on the button, and that's it. It connects to gear up servers and it lowers your ping. For example, if we, if we look at EU North, my ping goes from 35, 40 to 16. Literally 30, 30, yeah, like 30 ping decrease. And this also allows me to connect to all NA servers and like half of Asian servers. So if I select all the servers, my matchmaking is going to be quite fast. And the app works in a really simple way. It just selects specific servers on your way to the final server and uh, makes that way faster than your provider does. That's how it lowers your ping. And uh, generally, I recommend everybody to try out uh, Gear Up Booster because it's free. You can download it using the link in the description. Gear Up, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. I've been using it for the past couple of months and it's an absolute saver on Arena because right now, if you play to oh yeah, it, it, it works for many games, including Tarkov and Arena. And right now, Arena has a lot of problems with servers. They're super unstable, they kick people. However, with Gear Up, it adjusts to the servers, it lowers your packet loss, and I never get Get kicked. Try it out for free. You literally don't need to even enter your credit card details. You just download it, log in, and you can try it out for free for three days. Uh, link down in the description uh, below and in the pinned comment. Check them out. Did you remove the display of integrated armor component prices on the trading screen? I guess when you sell the armor to the traders, you open it up and it shows you the price for different uh, plates. Now this is this this is no more, no no more prices. Fix the incorrect behavior of rogues when defending the water treatment plant buildings on the lighthouse. I think this might be to do uh, with uh, one of the strategies to farm the rogues. So whenever you would run into one of the buildings, let's say it's building, uh, building number two, you can go into one of the rooms, make some noise, and all the rogues from across all the buildings and the whole area will just push you through doors. They will uh, push you like there is no tomorrow. So you just sit there with a 100 rounder M4 or like 60 rounder AK, just click, 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 shoot them in the head, and this was a really easy way to farm it. I think this strategy is not gonna work anymore, and uh, we will have to come up with a new strategy to farm rogues. Reduce the loudness of footsteps on the snow. All right, good thing. Now snow is not gonna be as crispy and uh, not as annoying, I guess. Also, maybe you won't hear people as far away as you used to, which is um, also a good thing. I guess uh, anti anti red measurements reds will not be able to hear you um, as far as they used to. Fix the inability to complete some quest conditions. All right, basically um, you were unable to finish some of the quests in game because of bugs, and now you can. Not sure what quest that is. I think there is a quest which makes you kill five players with a bolt action at the same rate, and at the same time you need to be level. 5, a level 10 sniper, and that quest was bugged in some way, so some of the quests got fixed. Fixed an issue that caused infant loading into a raid while playing as a scav in some situations. So majority of the time, well not majority of the time, like half of the time when um, I play the scav, or I watch streamers play a scav, 
they would get um, a waiting session start as their scav for like infinite amount of time. They can sit like this for like two minutes, five minutes, 20 minutes, and the session will just never start. So what do you do? You out of four, you restart the game, and uh, your scav just dies and you get back to the lobby. So you're basically back to the main menu. Your scav is dead. He's on cooldown 25 minutes and you're like, what the hell happened? I can't play as a scav. So this got fixed. Now you can play as a scav. Well, more reliably, hopefully. Fixed visual effects of bloom and sun glare on all locations. All right, hopefully sun bloom is not as big as it used to be. Basically, um, if you look in the direction of the sun or you look at the sky and the sky has many, many clouds and the sun is out. Um, I mean, I, ho I hope you understood what I'm saying. When I meant a lot of clouds are out as well as the sun, like at the same time. Basically, the sun would highlight the clouds and they would be so freaking bright, you won't be able to see anything else. Like you would literally look at the building and the sun would make the clouds so bright, like you won't be able to see the building. Um, all right, next thing. Interchange color correction is now closer to other locations. If you were using post effects or any other filters on interchange, generally the location was more red and purple. Um, no idea what it's to do with, but I guess this is fixed now. All right. Fix the lack of fog in optical sites in some situations. All right, so for example, on Sheets of Tarkov, if you were using Voodoo or some of the range, some of the long range sites, you would ADS and it will not render any fog and uh, further shadows. So the game would look crystal clear. You can see every single detail on the building. You can see ants uh, walking through, through the grass holding little uh, pieces of sand, and now it's removed, now it's gonna be very foggy, now you won't be able to see shit. Sorry about that. Um, fixed the inability to pick up some items, including quest items. So there was a bug uh, where you would have to grab quest items that are located on the floor or on the shelf, and there was like one small angle that allowed you to pick them up, and from the other angles you couldn't, you would just grab the item and it would still Stay, stay on the ground, so you have to readjust your position and pick it up. That's getting fixed. Uh, fix the ability to pass through solid obstacles in some situations. So this is probably to do with the marked room on sheets. Uh, I think people won't be able to vault in through the window, which is kind of like an abuse of the uh, voting system. The voting system wasn't ready for this, so no more free loot in the sheets marked room, I guess. Fix the ability to transfer items displayed in the Hall of Fame for the quests. All right, so if you keep uh, parrots or golden watches that you need for the quest, uh, you can transfer them now for the quest from the Hall of Fame without putting them into your stash first. Fix the airdrop loot appearing as not found in raid. All right, that was a big thing. People were speculating if that's a bug or it's done on purpose. Uh, airdrop loot, loot was not found in raid, so you couldn't trade it on the flea and you couldn't use it for the quests. Now that is fixed, so we got a confirmation that was a bug. And last but not least, increased spawn points for scavs on the ground zero location. Um, Alright, I guess uh, there is more scav points for scavs on ground zero location. I personally would love to see uh, less PMCs on ground zero. I think the map is great for new players because it's very simple to learn. However, the fact that there is like 12 spawns and they are all so super close to each other so as a new player you spawn you go around the corner and you face five freaking pmcs uh putting their guns up your face it's probably not really cool for the players but that's just my opinion either way this is what the patch is about the game is down for three hours at least um yeah give this video a thumbs up share your thoughts about this patch down in the comments below and i will see you in the next video take care